My first video on uh, YouTube, I think, was called Piero Polis. It wasn't that particularly good or anything, but I was planning to do uh, vlogging, political vlogging, like I'd been doing political uh, blogging and podcasting. So I, um, I'm warmed up now. I think I'm going to start that up. So this this will be episode one of Piero Politics again. Uh, and I'm just going to, in these videos, choose a couple quick points to go over, keeping up to date. Here's what I've been thinking about. Uh, I'll feel free to zip through the subject. And if anybody needs clarification on language or position or justification for something I seem to assume, then uh, just ask. And I'll probably make a, I'll respond or probably uh, uh, even make a video on that subject in depth. But this is to keep up with current events. That's the that's the main mechanism. We'll see how often I do it. I don't know. No promises as of yet. But it's the kind of thing, I mean, to keep short and uh, quick. And it's designed to be possible to do it every day, every other day, you know, kind of thing. Because it's like I keep up with one or two ongoing events, it seems like, uh, pretty much constantly. And they roll through. So the first thing is with all of the... Uh, NSA spying on our allies uh, revelations that are coming. I just want to tell everybody um, that's all about business espionage. You know, to really stop terrorism, you have to have people on the ground. Uh, the whole idea of using this internet scanning and then maybe, you know, you triangulate on the cell phone in Pakistan and bomb that. Well, that's where all the collateral damage, this is bullshit. That does not work too well. The real advantage of spying on people like you know, the Chancellor of Germany and so on and so forth, is, is business related. And it's especially a valuable information to individuals who can make insider trades, unbeknownst to anybody, because they got the information through classified means. And even if we find out, uh, even if they, they are found out, it probably wouldn't go to trial because the witnesses would, would reveal a classified thing. So those are, they are like cancer tumors embedded in the spine there people that are able to profit from this information. And that's what it's about. And the people that don't know that, probably naive. Probably naive. That was a thing I didn't mention in my Unseen Perfidy video. I was talking about, oh, I guess I'm naive because of blah, 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 what somebody else said. But it's like, no, I call you naive about very particular things you haven't answered yet. But anyway, this isn't one of them because, I don't know, maybe he's smart enough to realize that it's business espionage. We need boots on the ground to do real, um, you know, to find out real things because they, they're not, they will use communication technology, but it's going to trail what's really going on. Um, but we actually didn't need any more powers uh, to, to catch the 9-11 plot. Um, Bush was warned that something like that was going to happen. The Russians and several other countries evidently had figured out something was going to happen in the next month and that was incompetence on the part of Bush. I mean he got the presidential briefing in August, well, August 6th or whatever and he's the one that didn't connect the dots. It's like we, we need to connect the dots down lower because the president can't connect. So the second thing is my issue is there were some uh, hearings Oh, uh, just a few Democrats attended them, but where a nine-year-old has testified, a victim of uh, and her gram of drone bombing, her grandma was pricking, picking uh, fruit, tomatoes or something at the time, and uh, she testified. And and Congress didn't really want to go here. There were no Republicans, and I think like a half a dozen Democrats. And uh, this is my issue here. You probably hear more about this as the time goes on. Um, killing people with robots is bad. Okay. That's going to make us look bad. If we don't watch it with our torturing and robot killers, and once we get the the wildcat and big dog ones, those ro look that up, wildcat robot, big dog robot, Boston Dynamics, I think is the company, um, making this mule-type looking robot thing that can go up hills and then gravel and through the snow and run 16 miles an hour. And um, when those things have machine guns on them, uh, and go out alone like drones, I mean, that we're fucking Skynet, you guys. Okay, so it's like, if you found out the whole uh, Skynet story and Terminator, and then you go in and it's like, oh, actually, it's not run by robots. There's a little group of humans in a control room telling them to kill the other humans. We're going to be those people. 
the Nazis are going to be a little asterisks. It's like, oh, this seemed to presage the terrible tyranny of the U.S. Or I mean, that's robot drones, nine-year-old victim, got hurt, grandmother killed, totally innocent. We all know there's a lot of collateral damage. The reports are indisputable. And we're acting like, well, we don't want to hear that. That's just a necessary consequence. We don't want to hear people saying about how they had nothing against the U.S. until we killed their grandma. They're just not sophisticated people. They just don't understand geopolitics. Killing people with robots, not going to look good for us. So, there you go. Today's Piro Politics.